Hey, welcome to Combat of Wing Chun. We're gonna show you six wind dummy. <laughs> six wind dummy kicking techniques. Here we go. When people think about Wing Chun, they don't think about Wing Chun kicks a lot, but there's actually a lot of very useful Wing Chun kicks. In Wing Chun, we don't kick above the waist because we want to use the most efficient and the most easiest and direct kicking movement. So we always kick uh, waist and below. All right, so there's six kicking techniques in the Wing Chun dummy form. I'm going to show you all six of them and how to use them. Here's the first technique. It's called the Mang Sao and side kick. So Mang Sao, when you step side, pop here, and then chop up in, up into the dummy, and then you lean back a little bit and do a side kick. On the other side, you're starting here, you step around, right? At the same time, step back, lean back a little bit, and then side kick. So in application, it's something like this. Perfect when you have a, a punch coming in, right? I do one cell, push them off a little bit first, then side kick. All right, one more time. So I do a pop, and that itself kind of pushes them off, right? I just I want to use the side kick after that. So I'm going to push it off a little bit, and then side kick. All right, so that is the Mang Sao Sake. Here's the second one, and actually I'm going to combine it with the third one because they work together. So the second one is the Bong Sao, Wu Sao. You see this way, it's like this, Bong Sao, Wu Sao, okay? Bong Sao, Wu Sao, and then I'm going to step to the side, Tan Sao here, Tai Zheng here, and kick here. Okay, so, Bong Sao, Wu Sao, and then once I move here, I'm already doing a Tai Zheng, Tan Sao here, and kicking here. All right? Sec, uh, the third version is like this. Bong Sao, Wu Sao. Move here. But instead of kicking with my right, I'm going to step down with my right and kick with my left. Okay, one more time. Bong Sao, Wu Sao. Step over here. Tan and Zheng. Step with my right. Kick with my left. All right? So the starting movement is the same. It's just kicking with a different leg. So hold up and we're going to show you how to use it. All right, here's a demonstration of technique number two and three. All right, let's slow it down for you and show you how I did that. All right, so here's technique two and three. It can be used interchangeably depending on the distance. So let's say he's coming in for a punch. Right? If I'm going this way the wrong way, that's okay. I'm going to step over here underneath and then go for his ribs here for, with the tight jump. At the same time, kick the knee down here. Now if he's a little bit closer, that's why he does the same thing. And I bong really close. I want to get underneath, I can duck a little bit. Right? I can't really do the dice jump. But you see, my leg is kind of stuck here. I can't really lift it. So what I do is I change, the, change my legs to my left leg and then stop with my left. Okay? All right, so that's a nice move to switch it. If it's too close, switch it to my left and stop with my left instead of the right. Starting with the same bounce up with That's technique two and three. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the technique number four in the dummy. So there's a technique where we go tan and then we do a low stomp. We're gonna do here or here. And then the follow-up movement is actually a downward stomp with the side of the foot like that. Okay, so one more time, it's gonna be like tan, stomp, and then downwards like that with the side of the foot like that. So let me show you how to use that in the application. All right, here's how to do technique number four. Technique number four, I'll show you how to use that in slow motion. Here's the explanation of technique number four. All right, we start with a low bong sao, right? Another punch comes in, I change to a tan sao. This is where my knee kick comes in. And then in the form, remember, we stomp down with it, perfect. Because now you extended the knee and then boom, you put all your weight and then you break, uh, or you seriously injure that, that knee, okay? Uh, what I did in the demonstration is just a little variation, right? So boom, boom. I make him come back and then now opens up his balls or his chest, so I go side kick that way. Right? Same thing. So instead of going down, stomp into the knee, I want to send him off flying, so I just go do a side kick instead. And it's really cool because I can do stop and then change it into a side kick right away. That's the technique number four for wing chun kicks. Here's technique number five, it's the pop and stomp kick. So standing like this, we're gonna move this side and pop here. And then with our wusao here, and we're gonna just, just stomp kick like that. We're moving the other way, we're just gonna do a step behind, pop, 
a stomp kick like that. So let me show you how to use that in a real situation. Here's a demonstration of technique number five. So I got a step here with the pop, right? And then kick here. Very basic uh, counter of any kind of uh, pop cell. So do it again. So in your pop cell, I can go palm here if I'm moving in. If I want to keep my distance, I can go like pop cell and then kick the knee here, right? If I'm a little bit uh, to the front a little bit, I stay in the front, I can actually kick the balls instead of stopping the knee. I'm going to kick here, my step here. All right, pretty basic. So you see this hand coming, hop this way, and then kick the balls like that. Okay. Or I can stop this knee up here. I get the hop here extended. Okay. Right. That will lead us to the next technique, which flows perfectly. And stay tuned, we can show you the last one in just a second. Here's the last technique, number six, for kicking techniques on the Wing Chun tummy. Now it's more of a sweep, but it can also be a kick. I showed this to you in the three Wing Chun dummy techniques. It's called the grappling hand and sweep kick. So start with the bong sao. You can come here and then do a grappling hand and a sweep kick. Sweep kick is just a sweep. So it's not really a stomp downwards. It's more of like a sweep into the foot like that. So once it's reset, you come this way, grab, and just sweep. Pull, back sweep. So the key to this is to uh, time your pull at the same time of your sweep like that. All right, so let's show you how to use that in a real situation. Here's technique number six. Let's show you how to do that right now. Technique number six, the grappling hand. Once again, let me show you how to do that. Comes in, you ball the wrong way, that's okay. We're gonna come this way and grapple. And then put your foot here with a sweep. Right? You can just sweep like that, or you can stop this way. But in the technique, we actually just sweep like that. So perfect. We're going to sweep him this way when he's falling over. Grab him on the neck. Here. Sweep this way. Now you got him here. You can knee him in the ribs. He blocks up here is okay. His balls will open, right? So we can knee him here. Balls will open. Stomp again. Move away. And then that is technique number six. I just showed you the six techniques in the wooden dummy form with kicking. So there's six different kinds of kicks. And like I said, all these kicks are done below the waist and they're very economical and very direct and very, uh, with very small movement and very, very effective and easy to learn. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're not a subscriber and check out some of my other wooden dummy training videos here that are very popular. So I'll see you soon in the next lesson.